Hey there LS Kids, Mr. Mark here. Today we are going to learn about how Jesus is the best prophet, priest, and king. But before we get started, let's look at some things you might need for today's lesson. If you have one at home, you might want a copy of The Biggest Story. If you don't have one, don't worry, we'll be reading the story for you right here today. Some things you'll also need are your eyes, your ears, some paper, something to write or draw with, something to color with, a chair, some hand sanitizer, a Lego X-Wing, a giant stuffed animal, an extra large football, a big soft cube, some bubbles, a balloon, and of course you'll need to bring yourself. Now that we have the materials we need, let's get our bodies ready to learn about Jesus. As you all know, there's definitely one thing that we do not want to happen when we are learning about Jesus. If you said pull a muscle, go ahead and put one hand in the air and give yourself a high five. So if you don't want to pull a muscle, what's the one thing that we need to do? Stretch it out! All right, boys and girls, for our first stretch, we're gonna stand up. Everybody stand up. Actually, you know what? I just remembered. For this one, we gotta sit down. Everybody sit down. Ugh. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm sitting down, I think we need to stand up. Everybody stand up. No, it's sit down. It's definitely sit down. Sit down, sit down. You know what? Maybe it is stand up. Up, 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 up. Okay, okay, okay. For our first stretch, we go down, touch your toes, and reach for the sky. Touch your toes, reach for the sky. Touch your toes, reach for the sky. Touch your toes, reach for the sky. Toes, sky, toes, sky, toes, sky. And everybody hands on your hips. Okay, good. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick lap. Everyone take a lap. Here we go. Wait a minute. Hang on. Sorry about that, boys and girls. For our next stretch, shake it off. And then take this leg right here, shake it off. Step. Okay, good. And now take this hand right here and everyone say hello. And then we'll go down, touch this toe and back up. And then everyone take this hand right here and say hello. Touch this toe and back up. And this toe, 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 and this toe. Okay. And everybody hands on your head and baby steps to the middle. And everyone spin around one time. And everyone take a seat. <sighs> All right, if your hands are still on your head, you can go ahead and put one hand in the air, and then put another hand in the air, and then you bring those hands together, and you got yourself a high five. Now that we've stretched it out, we have one thing left to do. Pray, that's right, we need to pray. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our hands and lock them together like this so we're not touching anyone else or distracting anyone else. And then we're gonna close our eyes so we can give God our full respect and attention while we pray. So let me pray for us. Father God, we come to you in prayer. God, you are good. God, you are awesome. God, you're in control of all things. God, thank you for this time with one another. Holy Spirit, will you please be here? Will you give us all ears to listen and to learn? And Holy Spirit, will you please give me words to say? Jesus, we love you and we need you. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. All right, now Miss Ashley is going to read chapter seven from The Biggest Story. Hey, it's Ashley from LS Sparks. Today, I'm going to read to you chapter seven from The Biggest Story. Believe it or not, God's promises hadn't gone anywhere. In fact, God kept on making more promises all the time. God promised that the snake crusher, Abraham's child, Judah's lion, David's son, would come from Bethlehem. God promised he would be born of a virgin. God promised a messenger to prepare the way. God promised that the deliverer would die and live again and be a light to the nations. God promised lots of amazing things. But Israel was too busy disobeying God's commands and ignoring God's warnings to notice. God sent miraculous prophets like Elijah and Elisha and rebuking prophets like Amos and Malachi and sad prophets like Jeremiah and good news prophets like Isaiah. 
it didn't matter which ones God sent or how many, the people never listened. Not for very long, anyway. And so, one day, it happened. God stopped sending prophets. No more warnings, no more direction, no more word from the Lord. Only silence for 400 years. God had sent prophets, priests, and kings. He started out with Adam and started over with Noah. He chose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He gave Moses the law. He sent Israel judges. He raised up deliverers. He conquered enemies. He provided sacrifices. He lived among his people in a tent and in a temple. God gave them every opportunity and 10,000 chances. But still, sin and the serpent seemed to be winning. Until, all of a sudden, they lost. Thanks for joining me, boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Jonathan from Living Stones in South Reno. We have a great story. This week's big idea is Jesus is the best prophet, priest, and king. God gave Israel these men called prophets who would give them messages about who he is, but Israel would always stray away from God and forget the messages. We do the same thing as the Israelites and forget God's messages when we choose our friends, toys, or anything over him. But thankfully, God didn't give up on them or us. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus, a better prophet, priest, and king, to live the perfect life that we can't and he died a death he didn't deserve to wash our sins clean. When we believe that Jesus lived, died, rose from the grave and defeated death, we are covered by his blood. Since Jesus' perfect life covers us, now we can have a relationship with the God who made us. So today's memory verse is Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. We have two whole verses, but I know you all can do it. So it says, long ago, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. All right, let's practice that. We are going to talk like a baby. Oh, wah, wah. Ready, begin. Hebrews 1, 1, 2. Wah, wah, wah. Long ago, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, wah, 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 he has spoken to us by his son. Wah. Hebrews 1, 1, 2. We are going to hop like a bunny. All right, ready? Begin. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. Long ago, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. Awesome. Let's do one more. Okay. Let's do. We are going to hold our nose. All right, ready? Here we go. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. Long ago, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. Great job. Great job. We all sin or mess up. Remember what sin is? It's anything we say, think, or do that isn't what God wants us to say, think, or do. So look at this nice clean paper. What's going to happen to it when I sin? Well, let's see. What are some of the ways that we sin? Taking without asking. Ooh, we take things. Take without asking. What else? Not sharing. Not sharing. What else? Being mean to others. Being mean. What else? Disobeying our parents. Disobeying parents. Hmm, anything else? Lying. Oh, yeah. Lying. Okay, so I have just 
made a mess of my paper with all my sins. If I try really, really hard, can I make all these sins go away? Can I erase them? Let's see. On my own? Nope, my sins don't go away. What if I say I'm gonna try really, really hard and I'm gonna promise not to sin anymore? Do my sins go away? No, you can still see all my sins there. What do I need in order to make my sins go away? That's right, I need Jesus. So when I believe in Jesus, Jesus's blood makes my sins disappear. And when my sins go away, then I get to have a great relationship with God. All right, so now let's stand up so we can sing together and worship our God together. Psalm 55, 22. Cast your cares on the Lord And He will sustain you He will sustain you on the Lord and He will sustain you He will sustain you and He will never, never, never let the righteous fall let the righteous fall no He will never, never, never let the righteous fall let the righteous fall no on the Lord, and He will sustain you, He will sustain you. I said, cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you, He will sustain you. And He will never, never, never let the righteous fall. Let the righteous fall No He will never, never, never let the righteous fall Let the righteous fall No on the Lord, He will sustain you, He will sustain you. He will never, 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 never let the righteous know, let the righteous stone you. No, He will never, never, never let the righteous know, let the righteous stone you.
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him all His angels. Praise Him all His heavenly hosts. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him all His angels. Praise Him all His heavenly hosts. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him all His angels. Praise Him all His heavenly hosts. Praise Him. Yeah. Praise Him. Yeah. Praise Him. Well, thanks for joining us this week, boys and girls. And as we go, let's remember that Jesus is the best prophet, priest, and king. See you next time.